and they're off. Swiss Pride broke very quick in the center. Towards that one's outside is Roman Spring. Then towards the inner is Garbaya, who's up there, and so too is Confederation in the early stages as they go into the turn. It's around the outside that it is now Roman Spring that has pulled his way into the lead. Garbaya racing in second. Big R is in third. A length and a half away to in fourth Confederation. Around that one's outside Swiss Pride. That's about a length and a half back to Macaulay's tavern and then back tomorrow and inclement weather is at the back of the field of eight as they make the turn in with three furlongs to go roman spring has got a lead it's opened up to two lengths over garbaya who made the turn racing in second position confederation towards the inside rail with a high head carriage towards the outside is big r then macaulay's tavern creeping into it and so too swiss pride followed by back tomorrow and a break back to inclement weather they've got a furlong and a half to go three of them lining up big r the gamble of the race has gone on. It's Big R now who leads giving chase now. Cutting to the inside is back tomorrow. Uh, still there is Confederation but it is Big R and Jack Nichols going clear and it is Big R to win. Back tomorrow was second. In the end it was very close for third. Staying on Macaulay's Tavern on the inside of Confederation. Well, if you took the short enough price about Big R, you've been well rewarded. It's been a race that's set up perfectly for him, a complete contrast to when he was sent off favourite last time and he didn't really get a good pace to bring him into it. He's very much had that gutsy of Roman Springs who 